One, two, three, one, two, three, still everybody good? The current and former NFL commissioners are um, attending the celebration of life for Alex Spanos here in Stockton today on the University of the Pacific campus. And they are next up to come out and speak to reporters uh, and share their thoughts about the death of Alex Spanos uh, on October 9th. So it should just be a moment. With UOP. Oh, yeah, she was over here. Yeah. Later, Joe. <laughs> and uh, here comes. On the left is uh, Paul Tagliabue, the former NFL commissioner, and on the right is current NFL commissioner uh, Roger Goodell. Mike is here. And they will share their thoughts momentarily. Yeah, sure. You don't mind if you can do it separately or stand shoulder to shoulder, however you choose. Okay, good afternoon. Uh, both Paul and I are uh, honored to be here. Uh, Alex Spanos is very important to uh, both of us as commissioners, but also support to the NFL, and uh, we took such uh, great appreciation for his hard work, his, uh, his dedication uh, to his business as well as his family, and most importantly, his family. Uh, he was an extraordinary family man who uh, took such pride in uh, all of them, and I think from our standpoint, uh, being here with today and sharing uh, the memories and celebrating his life is something we're both honored to be here. Mm. I guess I would just echo what Roger said. It's a celebration of Alex's life and of his family. Uh, being in Stockton is really appropriate. I remember coming here 30 years ago, I guess. And he was a young man and I was a young man, but meeting his family was a treat then. Seeing, seeing the family now is a treat, although it's painful to see them at the time when they lost both their mother and their brother. Uh, Alex was very strong and opinionated, but he was also a consensus builder, and he always had the league in mind. And for that, I know everyone in the NFL is deeply grateful to him and, and to the legacy he leaves with Dean and the rest of the family. How did that play out, that opinionated um, but consensus building quality that he had? Well, you know, his, uh, he had some very deep-seated values, and uh, he said earlier today that loyalty was one of them. So he felt he was part of a partnership, and, and he had to be considerate of his other partners, but he also felt that there was a, you know, a right and a wrong, so he was always willing to say what he felt was right. If others disagreed, he would listen, but eventually he would do what was best for the partnership. He had a lot to do with... Um the more recent expansion teams, I, I was told by another NFL person. Um, that, what was his role there? Well, uh, I think Alex had a tremendous involvement in all parts of our business. The, the great thing about Alex and his Spanos family is that they've been deeply involved in league matters as well as obviously at the club level. Uh, Alex saw the beauty of expanding the league. He saw the potential for us to continue to grow. And he was also very, I think Paul would agree with this, he was always very focused on the economy, when the right time to expand, when the time not to expand. Uh, he had a very a strong will on that point. But as Paul said, he, he did a, a lot of listening. Uh, he was not afraid to express himself, as we all heard from time to time. But he did it in a respectful way and one that was in the best interest of the league. Can you talk a little bit about the legacy that he made with the Chargers franchise? 
Well, you know, he always described it as the climb to the Mount Olympus of sports. And I think um, obviously one of his proudest moments is when he was able to, to take the Chargers to the Super Bowl. Uh, I think he was proud of that accomplishment as well as should be. It's an extraordinary achievement. And he, he, he believed the Chargers were an important vehicle uh, so that fans could uh, celebrate the game. And uh, he was able to use that to give back to the community. All set? Can you speak just, I mean, obviously, just to, in terms of what he meant uh, here at Stockton was obviously in huge. I mean, there's terrible donations. How much for him is he almost like a model of what you would like to see from him? Well, I'm sure we'll both have an opinion on this. I'll just say that I don't think you could find uh, anyone that cared more about his community than Alex Finnis and gave back to his community on so many levels. He was maybe the most generous man I've ever met. He cared about his community. He wanted to make it better. He wanted to provide opportunities to others. Uh, he always thought there was a way to give back. And I think he led by example there. And I, I think he'll be remembered for that approach and his family to carry that out. Yeah, it was, you know, it was stated earlier in the church service that uh, one of the striking things about Alex and philanthropy was he didn't have to be asked. He was always volunteering before he was asked, and then he was one of the people asking others to help. I can recall many occasions, whether it was floods or fires or other natural disasters, where he would be the first one on the phone and say, I'm going to do X. What is the league going to do? What are other owners going to do? So that idea of coming forth first and being a leader is really part of his, his legacy. Okay. Thank you.